In this video, we are going to sort out the rear brake line on this Mini. Obviously, if you see my last video, you'll see uh, it was a bit of a disaster. It was all over the place. It was raining. I was laying in puddles. I was a bit disheartened by everything. And one thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna let this get on top of me. So let's have a look underneath and see what it is that uh, I might need to do. So this isn't actually too bad at all, really, if you actually just take a minute to look at it without flapping. So this is the brake line that's dangling, right? This is what I need to remove. So you can see it goes up there, goes up around the exhaust, it goes up over the handbrake cables, it comes behind the fuel lines. Now this fuel line I can actually just unclip from there. This one doesn't, but I'll find out where that one goes to. It goes right around, it follows the brake line around. So once I kind of get it out from here and out from the handbrake cables, then I should really be okay. I probably won't even need to take the exhaust down either because I've got loads of clearance in there. The only thing really that's a bit like uh, filling me with dread is obviously just bending the new hose, especially because it's a steel line. And I also think that I'm gonna have to bend these lines on the car because I don't think there's any real way I can pre-bend the line and then put it in, but we'll see, we'll try and work that out as well. So there is some kind of hose or line that runs right up, up here and then up kind of in this area in the wheel well. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and take this liner off. <laughs> oh, of course they're all scammy and corroded and oh, I hate these connectors. Ooh, what's that? So now you can see there's that line that I'm trying to get at. And it goes right up there into this thingy. <laughs> Success. Ah, oh, there we go. That was fuel. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I can just think actually, I can just pull this hose out without disconnecting any of that and getting it over the handbrake cable still. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what I did do is I got the brake line out. I did end up just having to, you know, bend it a bit in places just to just to get it out. It was way easier than disconnecting like the fuel system and stuff. You know, it's all pressurized, don't forget. So it's just not really something you want to do. Well, it's not something I want to do. So the idea really of using this as a like for like template for the new one is kind of gone out the window. And the bit I'm a little bit worried about with the new one is that it's steel and steel is nowhere near as malleable as a copper line like this. Really look, it just, it bends lovely. So I suppose really I'm just gonna get the new brake pipe under the car and see what I can work out and see just how malleable it might be doing it by hand for the some of the bigger bits and then I'll use my pipe bender for the tighter turns. Right, so what I've done is I've fed this new brake line all the way through the subframe. So you can see the end of it there, it's got a cover on it. So it goes down there under the subframe and then it goes down there to the back of the car and then I've kind of, you know, offered it up in a general manner. So it does go there, it goes over the exhaust and then is poking, if you can see it, it's poking out there. Okay, so now that I've got this pipe off this end, I just want to give it a real quick go, just see if I can get a regular socket on it before I have to whip out the bolt removers. <clears throat> nope. Bolt removers it is. <sighs> Look at that, ladies and gents. Finally, that is coming out. Oh. Uh, we got there eventually. You can see just how corroded that brake union is. So I can see how it was stuck and how it took so much effort to get it out. But it is now out. And now hopefully it means that, yeah, I can take that out. So now this caliper can come off properly 
and now we're free to get our new connection on and our new union and our new hose butted up to here once obviously I've bent the hose. So I just need to now go and take the union out of that front as well. Ugh, ow! Ah, you son of a... Ah. Okay, so the good news is, is that that one came out with just a regular socket, but the bad news is, for me at least, that I've taken away half my hand. <laughs> I look like a proper ruffian now. Oh dear. I'm bleeding for you guys. I'm bleeding for you. Please subscribe. <laughs> The show goes on. <laughs> so that union ended up coming off with a regular 11 mil socket, um, which kind of leads me to conclude that my flare end spanner, and you saw it in the last video where there's quite a lot of play on the union, this is just rubbish. I was led to believe that 10 tools, decent quality items, but I can't see how, I mean, that socket I just used was from the Halfords Advanced range and it fit on it nicely. And I just tried an 11 mil spanner from that set and it fit way more snug than this did. So, I don't know, avoid Teng tools? I mean, maybe not their entire range, but certainly these. So what I'm thinking about doing now then is basically just getting my new steel line and then snugging it up into this union, because it's already been flared and got a union on it, right? And then I can bend the difficult part of the pipe, which is at the rear. I know that I'm gonna have it all perfectly lined up, all the bends, because this end isn't gonna be able to move. I'm just trying to bend it a bit, just with my finger. Oh, they weren't lying. This steel pipe is difficult to work with. When I say they, I mean people in the comments. Okay, this is where it starts getting difficult now because I'm not sure if this is even doable. I'm gonna try and bend it with my benders on the car. I've already got it up over the exhaust, but I need like a couple of, well, quite a few 90s in here. I'm just gonna try and do 190 here to go from here and then up. No, yeah, around here and then up there, but I can't see how this is gonna work very well, to be honest with you. Bending, it's bending, it's bending. Okay. Go on, up you go. Yeah, no, get that in there. Come on. Come on, you've caused me enough grief. Come on, that's it. What was that? Oh, okay, that's okay. Ah, yes. Yeah, go on, keep going. Yes. Oh, yes, go on. I'm bending this bit by hand. Yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> right, and then it just needs to come around here, really. So, gently bend that there. Really gently. Okay, I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I might be winning here. <laughs> Which is nice. <laughs> okay, quick sit rep. You can see now that I've got this new pipe 
clipped in. So I've got the actual union screwed in at the ABS end. So it comes down here, it clips in there, clips in here, clips in here. I've bent it around there, bent it up there into that clip. I managed to get it over the handbrake cables and the exhaust, which is exactly where it went before. It now comes down here through this clip behind the fuel lines, which it did before, into this clip. And then right around here, up behind the fuel tank, into the top clip. But the only issue I've got is that this is the bracket where the fuel pipe actually butts into. But I've got kind of this much more. So this union fits in that hole, but I can't really see where else to go with the pipe. We're about five inches too long. So, and I can't really see where it might have gone wrong at all because I've followed all the exact same clip and it's actually screwed in down at the ABS end. So I know I haven't pulled it through. I think what I might have to do, because this is OEM, don't forget this brake pipe. I bought this from BMW. I think I might just have to kind of bend it a bit more in this area just to kind of or bend it here maybe actually put a little bit of a kink in it just so that i can get it through into this bracket lads i've done it <laughs> i've got it in so that's just poking out a little bit that's actually flexible That'll bend back a bit. I've done it, I've actually managed to fit that new brake pipe. Oh, that is such a relief. Oh. I was really worried about doing this. I was really worried about how I was gonna bend that pipe because it's a steel pipe. But you know what, all in, and I was going slowly on purpose. That only probably took me about 40 minutes, tops. That really wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And I've managed to get it in all of the existing clips and it's rooted the exact same way as the old copper pipe was when I pulled out. Oh, I am dead chuffed with that. I'm proper chuffed. I'm proper made up. <laughs> I'm proper pleased. Look, it goes in all of the, all of the clips, all the way down. Look, bent nicely there. Goes up into the union at the top there. Oh, that was fantastic. All right, so to get that pipe in, I just used a combination of bending it really gently with my hands for the, some of the larger radius bends. Um, it's quite it's quite malleable, actually. It's more malleable than I thought it was going to be. But then for the tighter bends, like the 90 degrees, this uh, laser bender that I bought really did quite well. I really recommend this bit of kit if you're going to do this. Oh, I'm, I'm proper happy, I'm so relieved. Now, all I need to do is get this pipe screwed in, screwed into that union at this end, and then this goes in the new caliper. And job's good, because that means now, because I pulled that pipe out actually, that, there you go, that's the whole old caliper now. So let's actually take a really quick look at the damage that I did with that bolt. So there, look, you can see, how I rounded that, that is seriously round. <sighs> I'm just glad something's going right again. We're back, we're back winning. We are back winning. And what I'm pleased about as well is that I didn't have to take the fuel tank out. I didn't have to remove the handbrake cables. I didn't have to remove the fuel lines. I did manage to get it all up with everything else in situ. Okay, so now I need to get the new caliper fitted on this rear with that new bit of hose. And then that squeezes through the hole. There we go boys, it's in. Ah, that is so satisfying. <laughs> now I need to get this new caliper on and I suppose actually thinking about it, I don't just need to get the new caliper on. I can now do all of the brakes, gonna clean some of this up as well, get some of this dirt out of there and kind of brush it down. All right, so I'm sitting here getting all excited about putting the brakes on, but can anyone else notice something missing maybe? <laughs> 
How about the whole wheel arch liner? <laughs> I should probably put that back on, shouldn't I? Okay, so I did give it a nice clean. I just hosed it all down, because you know how gunk can get caught up in these things. And also, anyone that's ever worked on these minis before, and I think quite, quite a few BMWs from around this time, you'll know that you'll know the clips that hold these liners in, they go real bad and they break and they corrode and they're only plastic and that's what happened with me. So I actually had to pull them out the pliers and I destroyed them, but I have got these brand new ones. Oh no, hold on a minute, I need to reconnect the charcoal thing. <laughs> I've got a new rear wear sensor as well for the pads, which I'm gonna fit now because, surprise, surprise, the old one died. It's down here somewhere, I don't know where it is. And so I've got all the hoses all joined up, rooted correctly again, connected, to the shock in the right way. So close to the end, I just need like three more mil for the handbrake cable to move, just so it can get into its spot. And it is being a right old pain in the ass. <laughs> After everything we've been through, let's not fail right here at the last, last hurdle. We're so close, it's just this handbrake now. Right, I'm getting inventive now. <laughs> I will not be defeated by this. <laughs> yes, 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 no, ah, no, ow. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> yes. <laughs> okay, so obviously I've hit a problem. Uh, it wouldn't be one of my videos if you haven't hit a problem. <laughs> But what has happened is the piston is now poking right out and that means I can't get the caliper on with the new pads. So this needs to be wound back. But that won't go back, I have just tried to do that. So now I'm thinking maybe the handbrake needs adjusting because this car had, because the rear brakes on this car were shot, right? And you saw the brake pads, there was nothing in them. So I'm wondering if at some point they've tightened the handbrake to account for the fact that the pads have worn quite a lot, maybe to get it through an MOT. And now I need to slacken the handbrake back off again so that, that piston goes back in so I can actually get the caliper back on. <sighs> right, so I've just pulled up the handbrake and I think that's the adjustment screw nut thing there. I don't know anything about this, I've literally just poked my head in there, but that to me would indicate if the nut is right down the bolt like that, that that has been tightened quite a lot. So if I back that off, it's gonna feed a bit more cable through, and then that means it's gonna loosen the cable at the caliper, which then should mean that the piston will go back in. Let's try that. Okay, let's have a look. Come on. Go on. Oh, so close. Might just need a little bit more. No, 
there's still a couple of mil. Maybe I can wind it back now. Oh, come on. Okay, so slacking in the handbrake has done a really good job, but I need to move the piston back, I don't know, a centimetre, two centimetres to actually get it over the pads. Now, I do have a wind back tool, but this one doesn't quite fit in the holes here. The, the, my tool's too big. I can't get a tool until maybe Saturday. <laughs> it's just one thing, isn't it? It's okay. I'm just trying to see if I can fashion something else just to wind this back. This shouldn't be really, this shouldn't be difficult to actually wind back because there's no fluid in there and it's a brand new caliper. <laughs> what is it I always say? Make do with what you've got. I've got these circlip pliers, right? I'll check this out. So you can put those in there like that, look, and then just rotate it and because there's no fluid or anything it's brand new it's just rotating back into its housing This whole thing started because I snapped this off in the caliper, which meant I needed to replace the caliper, which meant I needed to unscrew the brake line from the caliper and so on and so on. This, <laughs> this little clip is what started it all. Complete new rear brake system, including metal pipe. Oh, that is what you call satisfying. Thank you everyone for your help in the comments on the last video, I really appreciate it. But that is now a complete new rear brake system, at least on this side. I can actually sleep tonight. <laughs> ah, it all came good. Oh, I'm proper chuffed, I'm proper chuffed. Oh no, I just forgot one thing. <laughs> Okay, that was the pad wear sensor. Okay, now it's complete. Apart from the fact that they need bleeding, but we will get to that. See you in the next one.